Hello and welcome to the latest Craft Mania Sunday Showcase. Today I've got some amazing pads to share with you. We're going to be looking at Pollyanna Pickering pads. Uh, some of these are decoupage, some are toppers, some are just backing papers that coordinate brilliantly with the other designs. But you're just going to scan over them at the moment and then I'm actually going to show you each pad, what you're going to get in it and loads of cards. I've got a whopping 18 samples to show you today to give you some ideas of what you can do with these. Now let's chat about offers before we go too far. You've just seen the pads themselves. Every single pad should retail for $9.99, but as this is a Sunday showcase, they're only $5.99. So you're getting a proper little bargain there. This offer will be ongoing, but we do expect we will sell out of these very, very quickly, especially when we get to show you some of the bits we've been doing with them think you're going to see that these are going to be a quick moving Sunday showcase so please don't hesitate if you want them you know the drill by now get them reserved or get online and buy them there is also another offer if you fall in love with all of the pads I'm going to show you today and you want one of all of them you can purchase that as a collection so that will give you all six pads for just £30 so where they would normally cost you £59.94p you'll be able to get them for just £30, making them £5 a pad instead of the £9.99. But if you don't need all of them, then you're more than welcome to just pick your ones that are your favourites, and then they'll be the £5.99. So with no further ado, let's have a little look at actually what you're going to be getting in them, and show you some of the bits from them. So I've made a little board just so you can hopefully see this a little bit better than me flicking through each book. So we're going to be start off by looking at the decoupage pad. This is an A5 pad. You're in this booklet, you're going to actually receive 80 pages. You've got eight images to choose from, and each one of them you're going to be receiving 10 prints of it. So if you want to just leave them as they are and use them as a flat image, there's no problem with that. Or if, of course, you want to cut them out and layer them, you can. As you can see, this is a really nice collection for men's cards as well. We hear that so often that people struggle with men's cards. This really is a great pad for that. And obviously it coordinates perfectly with the next couple of pads I'm going to show you as well. So let's show you a couple of the cards I've done with that pad on its own. So this is one of our owl designs. So to give you an idea, this is this one here on our board. And you can see that I've just used two or three of the sheets and layered up the different details on it. Um, I've put it inside an ordinary aperture card and then I've just cut a frame to go with it. The little oval in the corner down here is one of our dies that was on our Sunday showcases a couple of weeks ago. So if any of you got that one where you've threaded in the little pieces to it, that's the oval out of the centre of it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, pop on our YouTube channel and you can go back and see that video and you'll see the die in question. Moving on, we're going to use that die again on this card. So this is our no fishing one. I know quite a few people I could send this one to. And I really love the blue and the yellow in this. Such vibrant colours, but yet quite toned down with the background. And I love this little bridge image and river scene in the background. Really lovely. That, of course, is the decoupage that's on this part of your board. So don't forget, you're going to be getting 10 of these. So on this one, I've used three. So you've got enough to make this at least three times. But there may be bits you'd either want to leave a little bit lower or build up a bit more. That is one of the nice bits with these. Instead of a step-by-step -step decoupage, it's more down to you. If you want to build them up high, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Moving on to another design here. Now, this is the first time you're going to see one of the papers from the booklet I'll be showing you shortly. So don't forget that. It's really lovely because it just coordinates perfectly with the papers you're going to be seeing and the images you're going to be seeing. So you really are going to want to get that one as well. But this is just one of the papers. And then on this one, I've only layered it twice. So in theory, you could make this card five times from this. Of course, this is the design that's down here. Now, I love with Pollyanna how she actually puts this bit of writing on there, a little description of the birds and a bit of sort of text to go with it. Also adds and gives a bit more depth to the image, doesn't it? And um, just makes them pop a little bit more. Moving on to another one. So again, on this one, you're seeing one of the designs. It's actually my favourite design from the paper pad that you'll get to see shortly. And it matches perfectly in with the feathers, obviously, of the owls and the different birds through this collection. And again, with this one, I've only layered it twice. So you've just got two layers. So again, you could be making five cards out of that pad with this image alone. 
So if you haven't twigged already, if you're doing these cards to sell, this is a really good pad for you because it's just such good value, the amount you could make from it. Down the bottom here, we've got a really nice peel off that I wanted to share with you as well. We've got our warmest wishes on your birthday, which is more of a verse than just a little sentiment, isn't it? I don't know if you've seen these before, but there's quite nice little designs on this one. These are available in store for only 79p and you get lots of different um, text bits along with that as well. Of course, they come in other colours too, so you could match them to whatever colour scheme it is you're doing. So we'll move on from that pad for the moment. I'll talk about it a little bit more as we go through today's Sunday showcase, but we'll move on to our next pad. Oh, that's what I forgot to show you. I'm sorry, I'm going to bring you back before I forget, because if not, I will forget. Down the bottom here, these are something that are unique to this pad. Not only have they got the big images, they've also got sheets where you get the two little images of the same designs. Now, we didn't have time to make these into cards, but I did want to show you how cute they are when they're built up. So again, if you don't want to do quite as large cards as I've been doing with these, you do get those in a small format as well. And there's a couple of these across here, or three of them to be precise, of your two different owls. Again with the owls, something I haven't mentioned is if you've got a fan of Harry Potter, I know one of these fits in perfectly with the sort of Harry Potter theme as well. So um, really nice for that too. Okay, back to where we were, sorry about that. So this time we're going to be looking at a different pad. We're going to be looking at a four inch by four inch pad and these are what they call a popper pad. So the nice bit with them as you can see in the images is they're just flat but they give the effect that they've been raised and layered and again the papers on here, the designs on these match with the paper pad perfectly. So again if you're going to go for this one you really want that paper pad because if you want to accentuate these and make them larger for bigger cards and bigger projects it's nice to have exactly the same patterns in the paper pad that you can mat them on. And you'll get to see that in my examples in a moment. But we'll just chat a little bit more about this. So in here, you're getting six designs that match perfectly with your decoupage as well. Of course, you can cut these out and layer them if you wish to, to add sort of accentuate your design from the larger pad. And then you also get text that matches perfectly as well. And these have been given the same edge as the papers or the pieces in here again. So it really has been well thought out. It really does coordinate brilliantly. So in this one, where you're getting your 80 sheets, you've got your six designs, you're gonna get 12 of each of these. And then you've got eight text panels down the bottom. So you get four of each of the different text panels to make up your 80 sheets. So you're getting a lot in that one for your money again. Um, a really lovely pad. We'll show you now a couple of the things I've done with it. So I wanted to layer these just so I could show you how easy it is that you could layer them and give a bit more depth to them as well. As I say, you don't have to. You certainly could leave them flat if you wanted to. But if you have a little look at the edge of this one, you're going to see there's the same image from the pad, but we have the full image. Then we've layered it once with just the middle piece. Then again, using that bar out the side. Again, for the middle layer. And then I've actually cut and layered the owl as well so we've gone quite to town on this and it might be a bit high for your tastes but if you want to the option is there in the background of this one we also have another one of the papers that's going to be in that matching pad for you and I've also put one of them on the inside too and it's really nice because it picks up on the bar that goes through the middle of this design so it really does just coordinate effortlessly I always think if you buy into a collection like this Somebody else has already thought of putting the colours together and the designs together. So if you're not too confident in what you're doing in that sense, you don't have to because somebody else has already done that for you. You know the colours work. You know it's going to go together effortlessly and look good. Moving on, this is one of my favourite designs. I love the pheasant design. Again, it's got that nice little bar across it with the flowers. Then we've got that gorgeous paper in the background. And then I've matted it on another piece of this out of the pad as well. So, and of course, we've got one of the little toppers on this one too. So just everything that you're going to get with these can be used somewhere. It really does all go together so lovely. Then we've got a twisted easel for our next card. And again, we've got another owl on the middle here. And then we've actually built this out and extended it. So it all still looks like one topper. We've continued their theme. So I've matted it onto the white, which is how they've framed all of their pieces. And then I've added in more of our paper from our paper pad at the back just to make it a little bit bigger to fill my card. Then on the inside, we've sort of copied the design again, white-edged our 
paper from our paper pad and then another sheet from the paper pad below it and then another one of the little sentiments that comes in with the little 4x4 pad. Okay, so that completes that. Now we've spoken enough about this paper pad. I really need to show you a little bit more about what you're getting in that one. So all of these are 8x8 papers. We have just stuck them like this so you can see them easy. So this is my favourite one I keep going on about. I love that one. Then you've got this really nice floral one. And in a little while I'm going to show you some of the Christmas designs. And I quite like this because I think it sort of goes in with the Christmas ones too. The diagonal stripe's really nice as well. The wood grain. Then we've got another flower. And then this really nice lattice one at the end there. Really nice again for men's cards. Especially if you are going with the other pads too. You're really going to need this one to, to match in and uh, go the whole hog. So in this pad, you're going to get 36 papers. There are six designs and you're going to receive six of each of them. Now, one thing I haven't really stressed about this lot is the quality. This really is a nice quality set. The papers are really nice. They've got like a glossy finish to them. In the paper pad, they're all printed on 150 GSM paper stock. So they're a nice thick material. They cut really well. You could die cut these, of course, as well if you wanted to. So if you want to do flowers and things like that out of them, you certainly could. Really just lovely to work with. Can you tell them I'm enthusiastic about this collection? I, um, I do get a bit excited every now and again. So that was your sketchbook collection, just to run through it once more. So you've got your A5 pad, you've got your 4x4 pad, and then you've got your matching paper pad. So even if you just wanted them three bits, you're looking at less than £18, which don't forget these are meant to retail for £9.99 each. Sorry. So you're getting sort of £30 worth of stuff for only £18, even if you just want that collection alone. It's a really lovely one to go for. Now then, I, I know you've picked up that I'm on a bit of a Christmas thing at the moment, a bit of a Christmas kick. And our next one sort of mixes the two together. We've got gorgeous animal designs, but with a Christmassy flair. But if you're not thinking Christmas yet, these are really lovely for sort of winter birthdays. I know in my family we've got three winter birthdays. And it's sort of awkward because you don't really want to go down the Christmassy route, but you don't really want to go down the floral route. Sort of that in-between season where it's a little bit more difficult to know what to go for. But yet we've got the cold weather, so why not use these? And again, really good for men's cards because they're sort of very unfloral as such and just really cute and cuddly at the same time. But something like this is just really striking, isn't it? I really wanted to do a card with this. And I wasn't even gonna layer it because I just think that image is so striking on its own. So we're gonna start off with this collection, looking at the A5 pad again. And so again in this one, this is your Snow and Ice collection. You're getting 80 pages in your pad, eight designs, so you're receiving 10 of each of them. So you're getting an awful lot again in this one. Once again, was meant to be 9 99 only 5 99 or of course you can buy it in the Mega Bundle to get all of the pads. So there are your different designs. Let me show you a few of the things I've actually made with them. So this is the first card I made for this whole showcase and I really loved this. I was really taken by him. I think he's so gorgeous and looks so lifelike. She's such an incredible artist and just managed to capture that movement and capture that just real life expression. And I've just layered this. I have gone to town on this one a little bit. We've got sort of four or five layers. We've also built up the snow quite a lot because it's quite a deep actual layered effect with this one. I've built it into more of a box card by just shaping my cardstock to fit round it. The papers on the sides here, although this isn't from a pad that matches this collection necessarily, these are the same papers out of that pad I showed you, show you a moment ago. So um, they will work with different collections as well. Even if you're not going for the sketchbook uh, decoupage pads and the 4x4 pad, you may still want the paper pad because it will work with your other designs as well. So don't rule it out if you haven't yet thought of that one. So that's just a simple layered design. Again, where you're getting so many of each of these in here, you can do so much with them. Um, again, you could make a good few cards out of that design doing it this way. I've got one of my little topper bits, one of my little sentiments. That's going to come out of the matching pad that I'm going to show you in a moment, but just to get you a glimpse of that. And then we'll move on and show you another card. So this is our panda. 
I've left this one quite simple to be honest, but you could decorate it up a bit more if you wanted to. But I more wanted to show you how gorgeous the branches are in the background if you cut and layer them as well. This is giving you that option because you've got so many of the prints and it's more down to you. You can really pick how much work you want to put into these. I often say this on um, on our Sunday showcases. But if you're sending a card to somebody you wrote, don't really want to do too much effort on, these are brilliant because if you can just keep them flat or do a layer or two, send it off and you've, you've ticked the box of handmade card. But if it's somebody that you want to put a lot of effort into, they lend themselves to that too because of course you could do more layering of more of the branches as much or as little as you want to. And isn't he just the most cutest little panda you've seen? He's really lovely, isn't he? I'm quite excited about him. I think I need to get out more, but they are lovely images and um, you're going to love working with these. Well, that's our panda. Moving on to our next one. Now, this one I think is designed really well as well because if you've actually got a bit of a cave effect going on here. So I've sort of done this bit decoupage, bit pyramidy sort of reverse inclined style if you like because I've actually cut these in and gone down in size to the middle and then bought these out to the centre. So you can really play about with these and come up with different ways and means to use them. But again, just another really lovely image. Moving on to our next one. Now this is one of my favourites. I do love a polar bear. So uh, we've just got our lovely polar bear here. Again with this one, I've kept it quite simple. I've only gone for sort of three or four layers here. But if you wanted to, you could really do lots more with the mounds at the front to build it up to make him look further in the background. Um, again, it might look really nice if you added a little bit of glitter to this one as well if you wanted to. Depends on who you're thinking of sending it to, doesn't it? Around the edges of this, worth mentioning, are our snowflakes. We have got loads of Christmas dyes in at the moment, and we keep adding to them. It's all down to my little Christmas kick. But if you haven't seen these ones before, at the top we've got our large snowflake design. That's $8.99. These are, of course, available in both stores and online. And then we have our little trio set of snowflakes. That one's $10.99. And that's responsible for the little one coming out the side here and the little one coming out the bottom as well. Worth mentioning is the paper in the background of this one. It's a design we've stocked for a couple of years now and a really lovely one, really nice and wintry one. It's very popular with people doing frozen cards as well. It's only 49p, it's just a single sided 12 by 12. But I thought it went really well with this image. Again, if it was going on to the glittery bit, you could do that with this as well and make it sparkle a bit more. Do. Moving on to another one of our images. So this time we have this gorgeous one here. And I wanted to keep this one quite simple because I felt the image did it all for us. And it's worth showing you with this how different it is from the flat one you see to just by raising it up. I've actually done this one with silicone so I could try and get more curves and body into a lot of these and try and get him tucked behind this one and so on and so forth. But really lovely to work with, so easy to do. And then we've just got a little stamp sentiment that's been heat embossed down the side and that's to do that one. Nice and simple, quite easy. Then we move on to this one. So this is a, a lovely striking image again. So we've got a lovely little bear between this one's legs and uh, layered up again. And again, they've been designed so well that you can layer the paws quite nicely and get that sort of depth and sort of, so you get that sort of hidden bit of him hiding between them, but equally there as well. Ever so simple card, just two pieces of white card stock scored at an inch on the side here. Paper punched and tied together with a ribbon. I thought that was quite a striking way to make a card blank. And then it just sort of sits. Job done, nice and simple. And that completes your little view of this paper pad. So don't forget that was your A5 decoupage pad with your 80 sheets in it. Okay, moving on. We have the matching little popper pad. So these are our four by four pads again, filled full of items. So I have actually missed one off of my board here. I didn't realise until a few moments ago. But there is a wolf design that I will show you on one of my cards that I've used. But it's missing off of the sample. So there is one more than you can see here. But again, you're getting 80 designs, um, 80 sheets, sorry, 10 designs. And you're going to get seven of each of them. And then your text ones down here. There is actually two different designs here, but I run out of room. But you're going to get those as well. That will top you up to your 80 sheets in this pad. So again, incredible value. Really well designed again with all the sort of layering bits. Once again, love those. 
and I'll show you a couple of cards I've done with that one as well. So with this one we've got that same panda that we were just talking about a few moments ago on the larger format. And here again I've got them papers and I, I thought this really worked well. These again are the backing papers from the sketchbook paper pad. But the colours just lend themselves so well to this image as, as well. It, it just sort of goes together. So once again we've got one of those. And that runs all the way through my card as well. And then we've got the little sentiment off of the sentiment sheet that comes in with that popper pad as well. And then moving on, we have the wolf that I was talking about that was missing. So this is your wolf over this side that was missing off my display board, but comes in with it again. And this one just opens out. So this one's in, using two of the designs. So even if you're looking at them and thinking, oh, well, a four inch block's a little bit too small for the cards I make. Use multiple designs, build them up. Or of course, as we did on the other cards, layer them with the papers to make it a bit bigger. Okay, so moving on to our last pad. Now this one is a bit of a whopper. You're going to be impressed with this one. This is your, I forgot the name, Magical Christmas Pad. So again, A5 in size. And with this one, I just wanted to make all of them. I'm not going to lie. Uh, these are just such gorgeous images. Many of you by now will know I have a lovely little black cat called Sherlock. And I really wanted to do this one, but I just ran out of time. So if any of you do get this pad, I'd love to see photos of little Sherlock made up. But to be honest, I like all of them. So I'm a little bit taken by this one. But I'm taken by all of them. But this is lovely. So in this one, you're going to get 80 sheets again. You're getting 20 designs in this pad. So this time you do get less of them. You're only getting four of each sheet. So you may want to go for a couple of these books. If you are going to be buying them individually, why not stock up on a couple of them? Because of four designs... You might well go through that on one card and then you're going to really kick yourself if you haven't got more of them. So you might want to stock up because they are such lovely images. Again, these are printed on 170 GSM. So um, really lovely quality, got a lovely glossy effect to them. Really worth mentioning, of course, with all of the designs I've shown you today, that if you wanted to, you could be adding things like glossy accents to these or glitters. Um, more heavy than some of mine have been so far and really dress them up a bit more if you wanted to. Not that I think they need them, but you certainly could do more with them if you wanted to. I can't stress enough with this whole set really. This really is as much or as little effort as you want to put into it to make your cards, whatever your style is. So let's show you some cards. So this is a lovely little cat under an umbrella, which I think is adorable. Uh, I've added a little bit of glitter onto the snow parts of the umbrella with this one. And then down the front here, we've got this lovely poinsettia die. Now this is one that's incredibly popular. We've stocked this for a few years now. You get all three sizes of that poinsettia in one set for only nine pound. And it's quite nice because it cuts in all of these little grooves for you. So it's up to you. You can either sort of fold it into a V if you want to, or like mine, I've just sort of rounded them out instead. But it gives you options and really lovely to cut. It doesn't get stuck in the die. They just pop out. Really, really lovely one to work with as well. But that's our little cat under his umbrella. Very sensible cat hiding from the snow. Moving on, I'll show you this one as well. So this is our little dog and cat collection playing around the post box. Now this one again I've added in the snow with some glitter just to decorate it. We've got the same poinsettia die going on down the front here and we've got a gorgeous happy Christmas peel off. Now I don't know if you've seen these ones before but again we have them in the store. They're only 79p and I love the way with these that they've got the different colour outline to the edge. So if you are going to be using peel offs or gems on here in gold it just coordinates really well. But of course these again do come in lots of different colours and glitters and different bits like that. So there are many options if you just like the font and the size of them. But I really wanted a bold sentiment on this one. But here's a lovely image, isn't it? it these little three on there. Perfect if you've got somebody who loves cats and dogs. With this one I've layered it three high. So again that might make you realise you might want more than one of the pads if you're going to want to send more than one of this style of card. Of course, as well worth mentioning is if you remember our Glitter Week a couple of weeks ago when we took the sticky back sheets and we put those over the images and then sprinkled on the iridescent glitter, perfect for Christmas. On the um, video we did it with an owl sheet, These all of these pads would be perfect for that. You could do for literally 80 of them 
instead for your money and, and glitter them that way and that would look really lovely and then you could even layer them if you wanted to if you think I've lost the plot and you don't know what I'm talking about do have a little look back on our YouTube video and you'll get to see them too uh, that's our glitter week and then moving on to our next card so this one's an 8x8 one but I've folded back the front so it sort of stands out a little bit more looks a little less heavy when standing and uh, again on this one we've got papers out of that original pad I show you it really does work for all occasions this is the lattice design out of that one and we've got that in the back here and then it goes across the front and on the different panels worth mentioning on this is the corner die I don't actually think that we've put this on our Facebook yet it's that new but it's a beautiful large corner it's only £9.49 and as you can see from here it really is quite delicate and very large and sort of fits in with Christmas or everyday cards and you could do quite a lot with that one so again if you haven't seen it it might be worth looking at now the image of course is absolutely beautiful I and mean, you're probably getting bored of me saying that but I love this one too love the little reindeers I must admit I forgot to um, put a little red dot on Rudolph's nose but of course you could do if you wish to we have the cats, of course, looking out the window at Father Christmas flying by. And I love the way this one's just sort of peeking around the curtain to see what's going on behind as well. Now, one of the nice things with this image is although I've used sort of four of my sheets to layer up the different bits and to get the different height parts I wanted, the bit you're left with, if you wanted to, you could cut that off and use that on other cards. So nothing's wasted with these. Even if you're thinking, oh, well, I've, I've, you know, I've cut it up, You've still got bits and uses for your other pieces too. Or of course you could turn that into a matching gift tag to put on a parcel to go with this and then it's all going to coordinate really well. So that's a different use for them if, um, you, if you keep hold of them bits too. So that's your last card for today. But I do just want to show you these as well. These are our last two and I, I had so many bits I wanted to do today and um, just sort of run out of time. So I do just want to show you those as well. These are just two that have been layered up out of this pad as well. Just two layers to these ones. But they're a nice different style. Like the ones I've gone for are all quite cartoony and bright. But in this pad you really are getting such a mixture of styles and designs as you see on the board I show you. So that can, sort of takes us to the end of today's cards and samples and different bits. So just to run through it once again for you. You have your sketchbook collection, so you've got your A5 decoupage pad, you've got your 4 inch by 4 inch popper pad, then you've got your 8 by 8 paper pad with 36 sheets in it. That is all the sketchbook collection. Then we have snow and ice, and we've got an A5 decoupage pad. Then we have your snow and ice 4 by 4 popper pad with the toppers. And then you've got your last one, your magical Christmas, Again, an A6 pad. I've been calling these A5. If not, they're A6 anyway, so excuse that. But A6 pad, and uh, this again has got 80 sheets in it and perfect for your layering. So all of your pads are meant to be 9 99 each, but of course you can buy them this week and leave all of the collection for just £30, or you can buy them individually for £5.99. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you all next week when we have another new project to share with you and product. Have a lovely week. Enjoy your bank holiday. Bye for now.